Hello and welcome to this session on uh, the project titled Certificate Generator uh, using the concept of robotic process automation using UiPath. So this is my UiPath Studio uh, interface uh, and I am just going to open up the project so you can just click on this open local project and choose the project from the folder called as uh, UI path inside the documents folder we have something called certificate generator inside this you have this project JSON file so this you got to open it up so that the entire file is loaded and once you open up this you should be able to open up one of the workflows called as certificate generator v5.xml so after this the entire workflow is loaded up so here you have the entire workflow where you have uh, read range activity to read the values from the excel file in which the participants name is listed out and after that we'll just get get a confirmation from the U, ui path saying that the certification generation process has started after that we will go through each row of the excel using this for each row activity inside of which we'll try to retrieve the name which is stored in the first column of the excel sheet that is what we are trying to do it with assign activity and after that we'll open up the ppt file or you can say the powerpoint presentation file using this activity called as use powerpoint presentation in which we will open up the default template file called as certificate dot pptx okay and once we do that we'll just try to uh, do this okay so add text to slide this is the activity with the help of it we will try to append the name inside the appropriate placeholder so here the placeholder is given with a name called as name okay so here is the point where we would like to paste the name of the student or the participant so that we can generate the certificate okay so once we paste the name onto the slide we can now generate the pdf of the same presentation so for that we'll be using save presentation as pdf activity and then uh, we need to check on this replace existing one so that it will replace the existing file if you are re-executing the same workflow again and again okay and at last we will print a simple message saying a certificate for all the participants has been generated okay so once we are done with this the next task is to get the password for emailing the generated certificates to respective clients respective participants okay so for that we are getting the password of the user from where we would like to send the emails okay and then once again we'll be using this for each row activity using which we will be able to fetch the name as well as the email from the same excel sheet so that we can send it as an email okay so for sending an email we have this activity called as send smtp mail message activity wherein we would like to specify the email address to whom we would like to send that is stored in email variable which we have got it earlier and then uh, subject is your certificate for event xyz you can just specify your own event name here uh, just for the sake of understanding we have added xyz as the event name and then body is pfa your certificate okay so this is the basic thing that we should add it up for send smtp mail message and then in the attached files we would like to include the uh, file name concerned to the person that we are trying to send the certificate so that's why our certificates are generated inside this folder called as certificates inside that name not pdf so every certificate that we are generating is with the name of the participant itself with an extension of dot pdf so that's why certificates plus name and then plus dot pdf that's the concatenation that we are trying to do and then click on ok so with the help of this we will be able to send the mail okay and at last we are printing a simple message that uh, certificates for all participants has been generated and emailed to their respective email ids okay so now let's try to run this uh, but before running this I would like to uh, inform few things here one thing that we should be doing here is we should be able to uh, turn on the secure apps running as well as we should set the secure app password 
for sending the emails through uipath okay so for that you should, you guys just have to log into my account or google.com from where you are trying to send the emails right and you can go to this security tab inside of which you will be able to do this setting okay so you can come down here and then search for this uh you can just search for uh this activity okay so you can simply search for uh less secure apps So you can simply uh, click on the link of this myaccount.google.com where it will take you to that less secure apps. Okay, so this has to be turned on in order to send the emails from your account. If it is turned off, then it is not possible for you to send the emails. That's why please turn this on so that you can run your application and you can send your emails. Okay? This is this is one of the settings that you got to do and if you come back here to the workflow you can just click on this send smtp mail message where all other configuration settings have been done here okay and uh, we should be able to log into uh, our own email id right now i have just given my own email id here here you can just give your own email id so that you can send emails from your own account and the password you got to work it out with your own password right now we have stored the password in a variable called as password so you got to work with your password that you're going to set it here okay and this password has to be from the secure app password that you're going to get it from google account okay my account.google.com where you can go and search for a secure app password and then you can get it and the same thing has to be reflected here so that you can run the so let's run this for now so i'm running the workflow now it has started so it says certificate generation process starting click ok to continue so let me click on ok then you can see the console window here it is generating the certificates let's click on continue here let's rerun this okay because it is giving error for uh, the PPT being you know opened up with some other activity that's why let's uh, open up this uh, PPT file once and keep it ready so that we can start you know adding the content into it okay so this is this is what the extra window that you will get once uh, we start opening the PPT file that's why it will give you the error so just close it up and be ready with this PPT so that you can run your workflow very easily okay so let me rerun the uh, application okay so now it has started again i'll click on ok button okay so now it has started working with the generation of ppt files okay you can see here in the console window it is generating one by one with whatever is the excel values that we have and its respective email address okay. so now it says certificates for all participants has been generated click ok to start email procedure right so this is where all the certificates are generated and now we are trying to send the emails to all those participants okay so click ok now it will try to send the emails to all those participants with respective email ids for the sake of understanding i have just given my own email id for all the participants so that i'll receive the emails from myself okay so meanwhile you can type it out with your own respective email ids of the participants and uh, you can send it through your own email or some other email accounts okay so this is going to take a while because it has to read the values from the excel like name and email address afterwards it has to send it through the gmail account by logging in using the secure app password okay so at last it will display this message saying certificates of all participants have been email mailed to respective email ids click ok to exit okay so you can click on ok here and yeah we are done with the emailing procedure so you can just go back here click you know go to certificates folder inside your uh, you know project folder 
there you can see uh, certain certificates being generated with some you know student names here okay so you can just open up them up so that you can see the certificate okay so you can close it up and you can go to your email account and then you can see the emails being fired so these are the recent emails that i have got just now all five all uh, six emails i have received here because i have mailed myself okay you can click on it and then view the certificate and you can download and use it for further okay, so this is how the entire uh, process is going to